You surely remember how we distinguish in every mechanical movement three sections, the energy part, the transmission, and the regulation. But let's find out more details on each of these sections. I would like to show you where power comes from and how it's created. This strip of metal is coiled around this arbor here and uh, will be put it in this barrel inside. By coiling up this spring, we will create a tension, which will be an important energy for us as the spring wants to unwind to return to its original shape. Let me demonstrate it with a sheet of paper. If I wind it up like this, like I will do it with a spring, I'm loading with this paper some energy. And as soon as you release it, it wants to find back the original position. This energy will use it to drive the mechanical movement. This barrel here, it's now equipped with the mainspring. By the way, the thickness, the height, and the length of this mainspring will strongly influence the power reserve of the mechanical movement. But sometimes, even a very small spring will reach a power reserve more than 40 hours. This spring here can have 40 hours power reserve and the same spring for a smaller movement also reaches 40 hour power reserve. It's just a question of consumption. By turning the crown with our fingers, we will wind the winding stem, which winds up the mainspring in the barrel. Usually, you will wind it by turning the crown at least 20 or 30 times like I'm doing right now. One way it winds up, and the other way, there is a clutch for your comfort. Stay connected. I'm excited to show you all the sequel and the details of a mechanical movement.